A very good morning, everyone. Um, I had fallen asleep, and I woke up and looked at the clock, and I got so excited, I thought, okay. One hand was on the 12, and the other hand was on the 4. So I ran out the door and was looking, and I, I could not see the moon at all, and I was like, well, for one thing, it was cloudy, which bummed me out. So, because I was hoping to see the eclipse, of course. So I uh, came back inside and looked at another clock and soon came to realize it wasn't 4 o'clock a.m. It was 12.20 a.m. I had just woken up way too early. Way, way, way too early. And hopefully I'll be able to see the moon on top of that because, like I said, it's cloudy. So, who knows? Well, actually, it's an eclipse. I'm looking to not see the moon. <laughs> now, I had talked about showing you how to have blooms in the wintertime. So I gathered together all my stuff. So if you want blooms in the wintertime, it's real simple. This is what you'll need. You'll need bulbs, certain types of spring bulbs. Not every type. You have to look up online what types can be forced early. And this, by the way, is called forcing bulbs. And you'll see uh, sometimes they sell kits like this at wintertime. Some of you probably have already have done it. But I've done it before, and uh, I've done it with paper white, narcissus, daffodils, jonquils in the south. They're called paper whites, and they're real easy to force uh, early. So, um, it's very simple. All you need, I grabbed just random jars I could find. I got, it's an old milk jug jar pint. I also grabbed a couple of uh, old uh, salad homemade salad dressing jars because they've got that nice funnel tape top to it to funnel type top to it to hold the bulb in place and i have this neat little rounded jar i'm going to use see what i can't come up with with that i've got uh these clear collared stones that I was telling you about. Found this bag hiding in the house. I paid two dollars for this whole big bag. Apparently, I'd gotten it at a yard sale or something, and it's heavy, so it'll do most of them. Plus, I've got some red ones down here. Now, you have to know, you have to look up the times for your bulbs, how long it takes for each one to be forced. And I picked out some that have a lower force time in the fridge than others. Some of them can take up to uh, 12 weeks, 15 weeks or so, more maybe. So this is a project you really wanted to start not long after summer if you wanted to have blooms for winter. At least by mid-October or so. It's still early enough that I might be able to get me some paper whites. I keep talking about them and force some of them. But we'll see how that goes. But anyway, before I get started, let me move these out of the way. Now, this is really, really simple. Okay. You take the jar that you want to be working with. Now in this jar, I want to just take these and start filling up my bottle with them. 
I don't want to do it at a nice slant so I don't break my bottle, or at least so I get them, more of them in there. Yeah, it might be safe to start dropping them in. Oh, some of this is uh, sea glass. I just realized that some of that's uh, red sea glass. It has some of those red. Let me see. If I can grab, this is all sea glass. Huh. I thought I saw some red uh, glass pebbles in here, but, uh, oh, there, I just put one in. Ah, okay. This is sea glass, red sea glass. And here's one of those red glass. They're like flat beads, like. And uh, you can put them in. I'll just put like one more in. Shake them down in place. Okay. Now, this couldn't be simpler. You open your bag. Now, you want to find a nice bulb to fit on there. And when you buy them, you want to look for nice bulbs, too. You don't want to, want to find the bigger ones. The bigger, the better in this case. And this one... I found one. This is the hyacinth, and it just sets right in there. So all I have to do is fill this up with water up to the very bottom of the bulb. You don't want to soak your bulb in it. It'll cause it to rot. But just bring it up to the very bottom of your bulb just so the roots can uh, barely lap at it a little bit, and that'll encourage them to uh, to start growing so let me do uh these are going to take a little while i have a feeling might have to end up using the blue ones for that now let me start filling up this one is oval shaped one. Oh, if you hear that, that's my cat. It's feeling the effects of that uh, full moon already. Oops. And it's just going crazy. It's normally a pretty uh, docile cat. But tonight, it just wants to rip and run, and it's been meowing and just going nutso. Oh, there's a little piece. Okay, throw that in there. Now, for this rounded one, um, what do I want to do with that? Maybe I'll take a smaller hyacinth bulb. Okay, I'm going to take a few out to where I want to put the bulb, which is right about there. Just set it on top of the stones. I'm going to take some of these. I think I said these were called Glory of the Snow. Now, let's see, these are real tiny little bulbs. And what I'm going to do is just set one. And you want to make sure the pointed end is upward. Because that's where the flower is going to come from. 
and there's one over here. And I'll just do that. So hopefully that ought to look pretty nice when it's done. Okay. I won't show you these yet. Well, I'll show you the completed parts of those, but it's the same thing. Fill up your jar, put your bulb on top, then fill it up with the water. I found this old bowl. It's ceramic. Looks dirty inside. I scrubbed it good. It's just kind of like stained, and some of the, the paint's been pit it off over time no worries now for this one i'm going to use the blue beads no particular reason just just my personal interest and these come in all sorts of collars and stuff these beads you can get them in like a silvery, reflective type color. They come in, wow, you just, you name it. do it into these I'm going to put uh, the crocus in and in this one there's 10 bulbs so just start laying them in the gravel I'm gonna put them all in this one Now the instructions say by rights that you should plant them uh, two to three inches apart. I'm not go quite going to follow that because um, I want them to be a little bit more compact. all right and there there we have it just have to go fill these with water just below the bulb level so that just the roots will be touching not not too much of the bulb if any because like i said it will rot it and it'll ruin it then. And you want to keep watch in your refrigerator because sometimes refrigerators have a tendency to dry stuff out. So regularly you have to keep an eye out and go in and add more water as they need it. But keep them in the refrigerator then for the length of time you're supposed to have them. Take them out, water them, and put them right back in. And like crocus, for example, crocus, this says 8 to 15 weeks until these are ready. Now, I'm counting on 8 weeks, you know, because I'm running late. So, I'm counting on 8 weeks. I'll check back, uh, see how these little tops are doing, how far they've sprung up and everything. And uh, who knows, I might pull them out sooner. Because they've already started uh, sprouting. So we'll just have to uh, kind of play it by sight, I guess. Not by ear, but by sight. And there you have it. So if you want nice blooms in winter, try this out. It's easy to do, as you see. 
not much mess at all real simple you just need some room in your fridge or if you have a second fridge that uh, you can use throw them in there and uh, just remember to keep them watered and keep an eye out on them come the lengths of given time that they're supposed to be in there start checking on them and then you just pull them out water them and put them in a sunny window let them start getting some sun and it takes probably a couple to half a month to a month let's say somewhere in there for it to start sprouting up and blooming and you'll have them i'll pull these out and film them for you all i'll try uh I'm going to go for, I'm going to aim for these for January. Right now, they might be February. And I'll show you how they look when they uh, start to bloom. All right. So, let's see. It's 126 a.m. now. I've got, uh, uh, boy, a couple more hours to go before the, the lunar eclipse i'll need to edit this just a tad and uh put it out so maybe by the time you all see this i will have seen the eclipse if those darn clouds just will go away so you all have a great night peace i'll be back later with the uh, morning reading and uh bye bye Thank you.